Hello everyone and welcome back. It's me department here. I'm so glad you could join me for another video today guys. I'm back in Sword Warriors and today we're gonna go ahead and spend another 1.23 trillion gems to try to get one of the OP weapons. So recently I spent 4.5 trillion in a video guys and I got some good stuff. I got up to a two star flying demon sickle from world five as well as a three star shadow sickle blade. I went ahead and enchanted and got life steal six, crit damage six on both of them, but that's not it guys. I also was able to make another one star flying demon sickle, a two star shadow sickle and another shadow sickle in the bags. So I'm super close to getting these up to three and four stars. All I need is two more of the um, eternity ones and what a couple few more of these right here and then I can go ahead and make that happen we're gonna make some serious gains in the damage currently I've been using the lifesteal level 6 at 32,000 damage but actually I think these might be a little bit better already guys I just recently figured that out but if I could bump those up one more star it's gonna be absolutely insane so the grinding's been real and yeah I've been just farming those gems blowing through the waves here in the dark castle guys uh, having the fire mage wizard thing right here has just been destroying things and helping out tremendously and been able to get those gems. So I just want to jump right in and go ahead and start hatching these and blow through this amount of gems. So I want to put on this one right here. It's got lucky number six on it and that's going to give me just a little bit of an edge right here when it comes to hatching these. So all I want to keep are these mysterious ones right here. So we're going to turn the auto on. We're going to start hatching and hopefully we see some going. So I spent four trillion on the actual weapons um, recently in the last video, guys, and I got a ton of Mysterious, and I got a good amount of the Eternities as well. So I'm thinking with 1.2 trillion, I should be able to get just enough to maybe get the next level Mysterious, and if I'm super lucky, the next level Eternity. So I do know that there are some updates coming to the game there's going to be a new endless uh dungeon sword so that might actually be the way to go farm the pink crystals the eternal gems and maybe boost that up to a high three four five star weapon that might end up being like equally as good or slightly better than the five star from this right here but for the time being i'm getting the gems just by doing the waves may as well go ahead and open up the eggs right because who knows when the next world's coming out anyways and this is part of the fun it's incrementally getting stronger and stronger so we've already opened up quite a bit here no luck yet this might end up not being a success if i don't get any of these but you know what i'm gonna keep hatching and we'll see what we get in the long run okay so i just blew through all of my gems guys and this is what i got Pretty much I only got, I think, one Shadow Sickle Blade. I got a lot of commons and rares this time around. It was like unbelievable amount. So not the luckiest this time around. I was really hoping I could get two more of these to go ahead and make them a nice little four star right here. Because I would have had a two star, would have turned into a three star. And then we could have merged them both together. But that's okay, guys. So if I click equip best, right? What the game is telling me my best weapon is, is this 5 star 32,000 lifesteal 6 sword. That's what it's saying and I think it's because it's the highest damage and it's got, you know, lifesteal on it. So this is what typically my damage looks like. Now I have the paladin on right now. Um, I'm not sure if that's the best hero. So actually let me go to the hero monument. He gives health and speed bonus. So if I unequip him right there, uh, let's go ahead and put on someone that gives a little bit of power. This guy gives uh, 39, and I think he might be my best one. So let's go ahead and boost up the uh, damage a little bit more. So 163,000 is what I'm rocking right now, and that is with the Frost Iron Claw on for more crit damage as well. So 163, this is what I've been using. But like I said before, I think these are actually better because they have crit damage 6 on them now, even though they're much lower damage as you see. So if I equip the Shadow Sickle Mysterious Blade right here, it already goes up to 173,000, guys. That's actually really, really, really good. So what I had on before was 163, so it's 10,000 more damage. If I put this one on right here, it not only looks cool, but it does 175,000. So this is actually 
my best right now and that's because of the dual enchants that these eternity and mysterious let you actually get you want to get crit damage six you want to go ahead and stack your crit up to 100 like i have here and if you have any ornaments or anything that help with the crit damage that's just more icing on top guys so that's what we're working with right here we can go ahead and go into the dark castle now this is a tremendous amount of damage i should be able to just plow through this now i don't have a wizard on at the moment so i'm getting towards the end here and it's been no problem at all as you would expect the flame mage is just really really op on top of my heavy damage 175,000 with the life steal the crit damage six on it nothing's even touching me i knocked my hp down to 105,000 guys if you watched other videos i had a lot higher hp but my damage was a little lower so to compensate that i had high hp but now my whole goal is to just do as much damage as possible the faster i kill them the less hits they get on me therefore the less health i'm gonna need on top of a little bit of life steal to fill up the bar of any missing health things are looking pretty good so as you see these things are just getting annihilated and the flame mage is just so good because she does 25 percent of everyone's hp boom with that big fireball and she also does an additional percent of your weapon damage so basically this scales and gets stronger as you get stronger as a player it's like one of those heroes that will always be with you it's so good so the higher my weapon damage does the more additional damage she does which means i even have to do less hits so here we are in the final waves guys absolutely annihilating things i love the fast attack speed of the claw it does help out and it gives me even more crit damage on top of everything else and just like that oh my goodness dropped like a fly easy peasy we go ahead and stop right there because you know what that was a piece of cake guys that was a real big piece of cake but another thing I do like to do, so I do want to show you just the stats real quick. I think another cool little pairing. So on top of her explosion, doing 25% maximum monster health and 100% of my attack damage to all enemies at the beginning of the wave, that's awesome. If you couple that with the Knight Knight Cloak instead, jump to the center of the map and do 40% of my attack damage to all enemies, well, I'm going to be doing 140% of my weapon damage. So obviously, my crit is going down a little bit here. But that is okay because it actually bases off a of weapon damage, I think, and not your total damage with the crit. So I don't think that's a big deal. I'm doing a little bit less critical strike damage, but I'm going to be doing a lot more heavier front end damage here. As you're going to see when we get in. Now, I know these are just, you know, low level waves because I don't have the wizard equipped or anything like that. But I do want to show you just how ruthless this can be right here. Not only is the flame mage doing the thing, I'm doing the thing and just everything's just obliterated, right? It's just gone. There's nothing left. It's absolutely insane. It is crazy, crazy. And then if anything does survive, well, I got my swing on and it's going to be hitting like an actual truck at 159,000 right now to finish it off. So, I mean, we're talking major damage right here guys i get to actually wear the eternity from the recent world and that in itself looks really cool i don't have to like transmog it so i don't know what was going on there but that stuff was just beating me oh because i don't have auto on so my guy was just sitting there taking it oh man my hp is so low Dang. so we're gonna check out the power of the life steal right now right if i even get a chance to hit things uh which i don't know if i'm gonna actually be able to because they're all dying so i don't know why that one was uh sitting there still alive whacking on me for so long but my HP is slowly going up, even in the little bit of hits I am able to get. As you see, I'm, I'm up to 17,000 HP. Now, one thing you could do is reset your stats to put everything back in. But I don't think I need to do that here. I think I can just bank off of hitting these things. And look at that. My HP is gradually going up. I don't have any healing on at all. If I really wanted to, I could, of course, go ahead and put on the Slime Balloon instead. And get a little bit of passive healing every three seconds it's going to give me you know a good chunk of hp on top of the lifesteal and we're just getting back and back and back it's like almost impossible to die when you have a high damage output and obviously the flame mage i'm on my way to getting op i'm gonna go ahead and farm more gems but i'm gonna put more of a focus on the endless halls i think i don't know if it's gonna be worth trying to get these uh boosted up we have to see what the new weapon really looks like that might be the way to go in the future guys but we won't know until the update does come out for that guys so yeah that's really all i had for today spending more gems just getting stronger showing you my progress you know every little bit of damage and lifesteal and all the stats and all that stuff 
really help go a long way. So that's all I had for today, guys. I appreciate you sticking with me. And remember, until next time, stay positive, keep swinging, and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.